Okay, got a piece of tile here. We're going to use this to experiment on. And we'll start off with these uh, four posters that I printed out. We're gonna try. Uh, we're gonna try two or three different things here because I haven't tried tile before. Now, I should say that while it is a smooth surface, it does have this texture. Which, if I run my nails on it, the grains uh, means that it's got the. It's not flat, and that's that's likely going to cause a. Uh, a problem because you can't get into those crevices so you want to keep that in mind and the other side of course we can't do anything it's got too many of those ridges all right so let's just start with the basic way first and that is simply using the uh, gel medium okay so we're going to try different things here get a brush all right so over here, let's do that one first, and, and I'm not looking for perfection here, I just want to see if this will work. So you want to have, of course, plenty of gel medium on here. Alright, now that I have it on there, I'm just going to dab like this to make sure that there is no areas that and also get rid of the big blobs of gel. I don't want that. I just want it nice evened out like that. Okay, so there we go. And then we're going to put this on here like so. Okay. And uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just do a really quick, quick dry on this. So there's no need to rush or anything. Some of the excess of. Let's get that flat because it's not very flat. Okay. That's, so it's kind of rough. But anyway, and there's the bubbling that uh, was mentioned about doing this on tile. So I'm going to press those bubbles down and make them stick. Okay, and they will stay down if you press them down. Okay, so use your fingers and push those bubbles down. So the bubbling happens with tile. All right, because I don't notice this kind of bubbling and other things, but it is where it doesn't want to stay down in some areas. But there we go. Now it's now it's glued on. I'm going to take a, a hair dryer and I'm just going to heat it oh, 30 seconds seems like enough enough time. Don't need to do this very long. Just to get it nice and quicker dry here. Just a quick 30 seconds should be plenty. Yeah, it dries really quick. And let's try uh, now. We're going to take some water. Let's just add some water to the back of this and get it to absorb into the paper. And let's see if we can peel this off. Okay. All right. I'm going to dab up the excess. Here we go, just get some of the excess up. 
All right, let's see how many times we have to peel this thing. Give me, give me a lip there. All right. Well, it does transfer. Okay, so it does transfer on tile. There you go. Now, that's good news. So basically, anything that gel medium sticks on. Okay. It did a pretty pretty good job considering the ridges and everything. So that's that actually looks pretty good. And then you can clean up, you know, get some alcohol or acetone or something and clean up the sides if you want and make it all nice and clean and pretty. But there you go. Okay, that worked. Now the next thing is what I like to do with paper. See? This is a little book I have. It's just paper, regular paper, kind of a thick cardstock paper. But you can see I got all kinds of neat little card posters on here. Look how great those are. And what I do with those is I protect the paper with like a, a clear gesso. So this is homemade clear gesso. I just got it off of the internet, uh, a YouTube video somewhere. Can't remember, but. There's a lot of formulas out there for clear gesso, or you can get the white stuff. But like, I'm just going to put that on here because it kind of seals, gives a nice little area to to transfer onto, and it doesn't leave any, you know, it just it's transparent, it's clear, which is really great. Okay, so I'm treating the surface with this clear gesso it's kind of liquidy all right and then I'm going to dry it real quick now on paper it takes like 10 seconds but on tile it's probably going to take longer clear right okay now I'm gonna put let's see let's get this one here so now we're gonna use our gel medium again again I'm using gel medium all right and uh, I'm just gonna blob a whole bunch on I'm not trying for protect perfection here just get what I can on here okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you have plenty on there. Tap it so in case you know get it in the crevice and everything else, right? There, all right, that's good enough. Here, I'll just go like this. Okay. And all right. A okay, little bubble. Is that bubbling? Oh, there's something hard underneath there. Hmm. Something really hard under there. I don't know what that is. I think it's probably one of these uh, gel medium dried bits or something. So anyway, so it doesn't seem to be bubbling like it was over here. Wish I knew what that that was. Just kind of a hard material there. Just gonna squeeze it down with my pencil here. That's not gonna do anything. Anyway, so some of this crusty stuff that's on here got underneath the paper saw. So can't do anything about that. So watch out for that of course. Alright so just 30 seconds is good enough.
Yeah, that's enough. 20, 30 seconds. Okay, again, just take some water here. Let's see. Sweat it. Get it to soak up that water there. Okay, want it to soak in that water. Nice thing about tile is you can get tile wet and it's not a big deal like paper, which you got to be a little more careful about. Okay, and I'll just take up the excess. Yeah, I don't want all that excess water on there. There we go. No biggie. All right, so now, oh, I got to clean this up, don't I? Oh, little ooze out here. Let me get that ooze out. Okay. Okay, so let's uh let's pill this thing. Pill's easy. Okay, well we got partial success. It looks like uh looks like it didn't all stick as you can see. It didn't all stick, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try again. That's interesting that that the um, gesso or something came up. Let's try this again. I'm not giving up on the gesso just yet. And then we're going to move on to something else because we got a lot of room here. So let's go here. Okay. So, so far, just putting it gel medium straight on the tile worked fine. And this one had some peel up. But I don't want to give up on that one yet because I, I really do like that peel gesso. this again just for giggles and uh, we'll use uh, that one there okay okay Dab, 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 so you have plenty on there. It covers all the little crevices and stuff. Okay. Alright. A lot of ooze out. Let's get that. Okay. Got it peeling off already over here. This gesso may may not be what we need for this tile. It's just they just need to use it for paper. But it's worth testing everything out. So since we haven't done a, haven't done tile before, so might as well make it as complete as possible. Okay, what a mess. What a mess. Right.
try this again with some water. Okay. Make sure that water soaks in there. what we get okay yeah with the um, yeah okay that's not going to work with uh, that's not going to work with clear gesso on tile all right so let's not do that anymore So, so far it's just gel medium straight on there. So let's try something else now. Let's try Mod Podge. Since we're experimenting here. Okay. Let's see how we use. We got one more here and then I'll have to go print some more off. Okay, so let's try the let's try the mod podge on tile. All right, mod podge on tile. Shall we? Uh, all right, there we go. Mod Podge is really wet stuff. Okay, with this we're definitely going to have to dry it. trying everything out here. This is Mod Podge on Tile. Okay, Mod Podge on Tile. Alright, release it with the water. Okay. Well, it's actually not too bad. I like my gel medium a little better, but I was 
There's with the Mod Podge. Okay. Now, the next thing we can try here is, uh, oh, here, I have some acrylic gesso, the regular kind. Let's, uh, since we're doing this kind of stuff, let's, let's try that. Okay, a little bit of that. Okay. I'll put that on there. I should print off some of these, uh, things first. But, uh. We're just testing this out here. Okay, this is a lot. I don't need that much. Okay. Just painting. See if a nice acrylic painted surface will make a difference here. Okay. All right. Let's leave it like that for right now. Okay. And I'm going to go print up some, some more uh, transfer. Okay, I'm back and uh, I printed up some nice little paradise scenes here. Real colorful animals and nature and stuff. So let me just get those all cut up. Alright, so we'll just, we'll do that one, but first we need to dry this. I like a little more solid. Let's just put a little bit right there. Just a little bit. I don't know why I put so much last time. I didn't completely dry it, but I want to see if I can get some better coverage here. Okay. I imagine I can clean all this stuff off the tile and reuse it. I hope so. This is kind of a funky use of tile. All right. So let's try that. dry feels dry enough all right so back to our gel medium all right where's my image it's my image okay so let's uh, put a lot of gel put a lot of it you got to be generous okay you have to be generous all right I 
plenty of dry areas here, so we get some. Make sure we got plenty of it on there. Okay, I think that's good enough. No such thing as getting carried away here, and it's going to make a lot of a mess anyway. All right, so. Try to keep it from moving so much. Hmm. Probably just overdid it with that, but that's okay. You got to really, whoops, I just crunched that paper there. So that's going to be a problem right there. So you got to be careful because paper does slide when it's wet. Okay. Well, let's just see if we can get the most of this to come across. Okay, we'll dry it for about 30 seconds. Good enough, I guess. Probably better if I let it dry even longer, but yeah. You notice on this tile, I haven't, I just been kind of heating it for about 30 seconds as far as the gel medium. It seems to be plenty of time, you know, just get it set up, you know. All right, just get the excess water off of there. All right. All right, well, let's see how this thing does. Okay. Well, there you go. So that works. Um, but I will tell you this, with... With the gessos, when you use the gessos, the gesso itself is not sticking to the tile, I noticed. But look, that's pretty cool. So, you could actually do it on the white gesso too. You just have to be careful when you're peeling that, um, you know, you don't start peeling the edges off and stuff like that. Like, I can, I can peel this up, like right there comes up like like a, a spongy glue or something and that's not the transfer that's doing that that's the that's that white uh, stuff that I put underneath there that's what that is but but you can do this and then you could seal it see so it does work on tile just you know you're going to have to get kind of tricky with it so now uh, one more time well, two more times, but we're going to do just the gel medium again, just so you know that's not a fluke. And we're going to do it over here. Okay. And, uh, yeah. This time I'm going to try not to put as much so that it doesn't ooze out as much, you know. But I do like to do this so I don't have to use my finger and end up wiping any of it off. Just take all the big peaks out. You don't need the big peaks. So you just experiment and you, you find the right amount for the material you're working on. But 
See, something like that, you know. Just kind of dab it. Little dab will do it. All right, so this is just gel medium like before. Okay, untreated tile. So we're not going to put gesso or white gesso or clear gesso or Mod Podge or any of that stuff like we did on these three. Okay, we're doing the same thing we did the first time. That is, we're going straight gel medium only because that worked and we want to make sure that's consistent. Okay. Alright. Alright, and I want you to see that the paper is laying flat, okay? It's not bubbling up. Now when it does bubble up, that means that it's it's not sticking to whatever you have there. And I would press it down with my fingers, and then as it dries a little bit, it'll get stickier and it'll hold it down, okay? Now whether it will transfer where those uh, bubbled parts are, yeah, I don't know. But as you can see, here I have no bubbles. I'm going to do this for 30 seconds. No bubbles for 30 seconds. That's 30 seconds. That's long enough. You don't have to kill it. Just, just so that it sets up the gel medium and kind of dries somewhat. All right, and then you wet it with your sponge brush here. You should be able to see the water absorb in the paper. Okay, and that will happen as long as you didn't get glue all the way in the, the back of your paper there. And that that would prevent it from absorbing you know and I just like to take up the excess so there's less chance of tearing but if it tears you just peel more than once all right let's start an edge let's see if it'll come up and another thing you want to do don't pull up pull across gently As you can see, it's a complete transfer. Gel medium only on tile works great. See? See that? Okay, this is that wood looking tile. Look at that. Okay. Now you know that whatever color you got back here is going to show up anywhere that, that your image is white because printers don't print white. So printers use the, the white of the paper, which means it'll be transparent. So keep that in mind. If you don't, if you want your whites to come out, you're going to have to paint white before you, you glue anything down on there. Okay. So that came out fantastic. Now let's try something else. But I need to recover. Um, stuff dried on pretty good. See if I can reuse that, and uh, let's see what would clean that off. I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking alcohol. Let me see if my uh, my uh, hand sanitizer will will work. See if that will clean it up there. Man, nah, I'm not thinking that's going to work. Nope, that won't take it off. I need another area on here to test, so let me go get some alcohol or acetone or something. And let me see if I can remove this 
so I can do another test because I don't have another tile. Whew. Okay, I'm getting high from these fumes. But uh, let me tell you what I found here. All right, as you can see, I, I cleared off an area here, and I'll have to tell you, these are very resist, resilient, okay? Um, I've tried alcohol, I've tried paint thinner, and uh, I tried um, hand sanitizer, I tried turpentine, and I tried acetone. Now, out of all that, the turpentine was able to take off the image to a degree it was the best but it didn't take the the um, gesso that I had underneath off there very well I mean if I kept working it working it it would have worked but the acetone was faster so use acetone to, to reclaim your tile if you don't like what you like you put on there okay clean it off and start over so you don't have to waste your tiles all right so now I got this clean surface okay so I think the next thing I want to try here and I'm I'm trying bases now clearly clearly we can see that just using gel medium straight on the tile works we've done it twice already and it works mm -hmm. we really don't need to go any further with this however I like to experiment. So I'm going to use some tacky glue for the base, okay? So we're going to put some down, like so. Don't want to put too much down, okay? And then I'm going to, see, where's my, uh, oh, here we go. Okay, I want to make sure I still have a, an image that I can transfer. Okay, so we're, what we're talking about here is a base. So we're going to use tacky glue as a base, all right? You want to see things that will allow you to um, adhere images to. All right, so now we're going to dry it. Okay, now again, we're going to use, always use gel medium for your transfer, for tile, right? So we're going to put that on top, like so. Sure we got good coverage because anywhere you don't have coverage you know you're not going to get a transfer okay so put that on there press it down to keep it from sliding around and now we're going to press press Clean up. On aisle five. There we go. Get that excess off of there. Okay. Now again, I want to show there is no bubbling of the paper. Okay, no bubbling. So that means I have plenty on here. If 
you're getting any bubbling and you may have some areas in there that you didn't uh, put enough medium on there. Alright, and you can see cleanup wasn't a big deal. I just wiped out the ooze from the end there. Alright, 30 seconds. That's 30 seconds, that's enough. Alright, a little water. Alright. Okay. Alright. Take up the excess. I hit that with my blow dryer and damage the paper so I'm not sure what to expect in there. Okay again peel it over itself. Alright. Alright, well that worked. Um, I do want to say that right here when I started peeling here, I started to peel up the image. As soon as I saw that, I stopped and started peeling from somewhere else. So if you see you're starting to pull your image back up, don't keep going because you're going to rip the whole thing off. And once it dries, it stays. But there you go. Look at that. Okay. See that? So that's with a tacky glue base. All right. And the nice thing about the, the tacky glue base is it has a it has apparently like a cloudy look to it. So the whites come out so much better than here where it just went straight on with gel medium. So this might be an idea to use some tacky glue like like what I use, and I'll tell you which one this was. This is the Aileen's quick dry tacky glue because it on this tile, it tends to have a white um, hue to it, which looks like it's really great for getting those whites in there. Pretty cool, huh? But if you just want transparent, so then you just go ahead and put that gel medium straight on there. Okay, and then this is white gesso here. Okay. Now let's see, I think I've covered pretty much all the different ideas. Um, can't think of. Okay, this here I think is a um, polyurethane. So, okay, you talked me into it. I wouldn't use it as the actual transfer stuff because I've tried that. Use gel medium for that, no matter what, always. But let's see how this works as a base, okay? So we're gonna put we're gonna put this down on here like so. See if it'll seal. Okay. The only thing I worry about is how long it's gonna take to dry this stuff. Now I've got some other stuff on here too, which is of course not a fair assessment. I'm kind of guilty of contamination here, but I gotta throw this away now. This is all messed up. Let's see if we can dry this and what happens.
that's gonna take forever to dry that stuff. This stuff here takes hours to dry. So let's see how it works, even though it's a little on the tacky side. So again, we're going to go with the gel medium. Okay. Right on top. Hopefully that stuff doesn't peel off. But if it does, so what? We already know we can do tile. Just use your gel medium, and if you want a little bit of a white background, use Aileen's uh, tacky glue. That, that was successful. All right. Um, this is not going to be perfect. I just want to test this real quick. You know? Let's just get this in here. Alright. I have to throw this brush away too. We're done. Okay. So this is it. This is the final experiment. I, I think we, we resolved the question as to can we do this on tile and the answer is absolutely yes. You just Use your gel medium on there and go for it. Now, oh, that sounds funny. Okay, wipe up the excess. Okay, so that's 30 seconds. Good old 30 seconds there of drying at least. No biggie. Wet sponge. Wet, 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 wet. Okay. Watch it absorb into the paper. That's a good thing. Wet, 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 wet. All right. And get another paper towel here. And uh, we'll just do this. And okay. That. And all right, and let's see what we got. Will it work? Sticky, 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 that stuff. Yeah, it works. There it goes. Be careful not to peel up the edges, though, like I just did here. But you go like that. There you go. But I'll tell you what though, I don't see any advantage of using polyurethane because this right there looks great. That worked. That worked. So final. This is my personal preference for doing tile. If you don't need a white whitish background use gel medium directly on the tile press it hair dry it for 30 seconds wet it and then gently peel it back second option would you like a little bit of white haze in the back well spread some of this quick dry tacky glue from Aileen's Dry that with the hair dryer for about a minute until you know it, it feels completely dry. Then again, use your gel medium, apply it. As you can see real well, I dab, dab, dab. Put your thing down, roll it. 30 seconds again, wet it. Carefully peel. And remember when you're peeling, especially when you're putting it on top of something other than just directly the tile, if you see it start to lift, pull from a different angle so it doesn't lift up your image because tile kind of you know is is got some kind of coating on it so it's easy to peel off if you're not careful once it dries like in a minute or two 
this is almost impervious to removal. You got to use something strong like acetone to get this stuff off. But there you go. Look. Take your pick. All right. This here was white gesso, by the way. That's white gesso. Gel medium direct. This is gel medium on that polyurethane thing. I don't really care for that because what's the advantage over that? Nothing. Okay. And this one here is on the tacky glue. And I like that. That's pretty, that's a pretty good idea. What you may want to do though is make sure you don't go outside the, the edges. So kind of mask it off with some masking tape or something. Uh, just be careful that you don't get any glue underneath the masking tape or you might have troubles peeling the masking tape off. But there you go. All right. All right. Well, I hope that helps. Have fun.